Hi guys, welcome in. Dobre chňa, uh, Maria, how are you? Hey, I'm good, thank you so much. How are you? I'm fine, finally here together. I'm amazing. <laughs> What can I tell? Uh, so, uh, you've been, um, yeah, we, we have this outfit because, uh, you know, we are going to rave uh, on Saturday. Yeah, we, right. we are raving. Yes. All the time, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we we'll put it like here. Otherwise, people will be like, "What the fuck? I can't say, we I can't see." Show our eyes. Yes, our eyes. But yeah. Um. So, um. How was uh today? You had um. It was today the first rehearsal? Yeah, today was the uh, tour rep. It's like kind of rehearsal, but mm. without lightning. It just you just fill the stage okay. with with everything with the dancers and. Yeah. Blah, 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 and also some uh, interviews, artist presentation, mm. filming, so, mm. yeah, so it's like that. Mm. And tomorrow it's already like a proper yeah, rehearsal. Yeah. And everything in, in Swedish, right? How was, <laughs> how was it? How did you feel? Yes, I did the artist presentation only just in Swedish. I, it was, I think it was fine, I, mean, I think it was cool, but I was a little bit like, mm. a little bit embarrassed, not embarrassed, mm. but you know, you kind of feel when you try and to remember to yes. find the words that you not usually speak like me with uh dobre <laughs> exactly. no but i'm i mean but it was it was cool i think i was sweaty at the end and red and like ah yeah. but it was cool no you look amazing so <laughs> yeah no, no matter what uh so um yeah um how was uh, how do you feel when every time that um, the presenters like talk to you in swedish i guess you understand everything but yeah. then um Yeah, of course, like uh, you feel you've been already here almost two years, right? So, yeah, is it uh, natural for you to... You try to reply sometimes in Swedish, I know, but uh, yeah. How do you feel about Swedish? I feel good about Swedish. I feel like I understand more than I can say, mm. but I'm trying to speak as well. But I, I, for speaking, you know, you have to practice a lot. You have to speak with people. Otherwise, you just, you know, it's all about practice. It's mm. with all the languages. It yeah. was the same with me with English, for example. Yes, I, I knew English, but I had no practice in to speak with the people and you like kind of have this wall in front of you that you like mm, try and but it's kind of hard for you because you feel like maybe a little bit embarrassed or like uncomfortable. But I mean, I think it was fine because I un I understand I understand like everything, but it just can be a little bit uh, maybe uncomfortable to speak. But like... I can speak, not perfect, not like fluent, of mm. course, no. But um, I was learning Swedish, so yeah. uh, I was learning Swedish and uh, also like I surrounded by Swedish people, so it's good. Of course. But we use we a lot speaking English as well, because I mean, so first of all, Swedish are very good in English and they like to speak yeah, English. I and I, you know, I can express myself much more easier and faster in English. So sometimes you're just like, ah, yeah like speak, switch yeah. to English but it's better to speak of course Swedish I think yes. for me yeah. <laughs> so um, how are you uh, feeling about uh, being in the final you were um, the first um, no, the second one going uh, to the final on the second hit but uh, with the voting you came first uh, on, the, on that voting how, what was your impression when you received uh, that many 12 points and you went to the final uh, straight uh, for the second time Well, it was crazy. It was so crazy. But, you know, this moment when you hear all this results, you're super nervous. I'm always like, this is like, I don't like this moment. You're like, I'm very nervous. But like when it was like the first, you know, voting when um, Leamo got first one, he went to the final. I was so nervous at this moment. And then after I was like, okay, well, let's see what it, what's, what happens. I was like more cooler i was like okay let's see just sit and mm. smile and yeah. so i was a little bit more calmer at that moment but then when i started getting all this 12 like oh i didn't think about this at all that i will get almost all the yeah. ages yeah. i didn't think i didn't expect almost but one i think so yeah i didn't expect so i was like wow this is crazy but it was such a beautiful moment and of course i'm happy that i'm in the final because i think I mean, first of all, this is very important for me. I'm taking really serious this thing. Like, I really want to represent uh, Sweden and Eurovision. And, of course, it's a great opportunity for, uh, like, artists to go to Eurovision and show yourself. So I'm very, like, um, into it. And I'm really happy to be here again and to be in the final again. It's such a big thing. And, you know, the Swedish final is always crazy how good. Yeah. A Swedish, like... 
people, the Swedish uh, TV, all this stuff, you know, it's so professional, it's so high level. So it's like such an, an honor to be here. I'm so blessed to be here. And yeah, I'm just feeling very good, very excited to perform again, once again at France Arena, so big. Uh, so big, so cool, but uh, I feel like I, f- I have a good feeling and, um, you know, I, I'm i just going to do my best on stage. I want to give my all. Yeah. So um, how are you preparing for the final? Because uh, we know and we heard that uh, you wanted to add some like uh, dance break or like uh, other parts, which I think you will do amazingly. But uh, sadly, um, you cannot change that much the um, the staging. But tell us, um, what can we expect for Saturday? Do you have any surprises for us? Yes, actually, oh, I have. Okay. <laughs> so it's going to be some pinch of eddings okay. in the number but you will see them i'm not gonna say so much but uh, okay. there is something new mm-hmm. a little bit um, with the staging i should say with the staging yeah but i was preparing like i was rehearsing a lot i was singing dancing again so i i did before the semi-final or yeah, yeah uh, the same thing i was training a lot actually uh at the gym uh, because like you know my my performance it's so much it's like very intense so it's so much things to think about yeah i move i'm seeing at the same time and also like cameras and feelings and emotions and blah blah blah. so you have to be in a really good physical like shape and like be so stable so it's very good with the i think with the workouts so uh, yeah yeah (laughs) yeah so i was really working uh, hard and i mean just yeah so feeling so good feeling Mm. so good feeling so prepared and you know we really i mean we i mean me and my team we really put so much effort and love and work into this show so it means a lot means a lot and the song means a lot for me as well Sure. And uh, how do you feel about opening the show? Because um, you are the first one and you were also the first one, right? On the um, No, you weren't the first one on the, on the, uh, on the semifinal, yeah. So how do you feel about uh, opening both the semifinal and the final? Um, yeah, because I think like, uh, let's uh, be clear and reveal uh, what your your song is one of the, of the favorites to win. Um, but do you feel the pressure of opening the show? I feel honored to open the show. I feel honored... Um because it's like kind of opening it's also kind of n- nervous i should say because i think yeah i mean it's you open the show you know so it ha- it has to be like really like yeah. bah, 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 bah. Yes. here we are the here sweden has arrived everyone is watching the final and like yeah so but i mean it's very big honor for me to open the show so yeah, it's gonna be fun. Yes. So. Yeah, we can wait to see that. And I'm sure that you will, you will slay it, like in the semi-final. Um, but um, let's dream a little bit and let's see that. Uh, let's say that uh, you uh, end up winning. What would it be your first reaction? And um, what would it mean for you to represent uh, Sweden coming from Ukraine in Eurovision in Sweden? Well, it's crazy. I don't even know how to imagine. Yeah, of course I can imagine this. Of course I. I. It's it's such a dream you know to win and to go to Eurovision and represent Sweden it would be such a big honor to me and I've been living here for almost two years mm-hmm. and I mean I'm, I'm I really love this uh, country honestly I've got so much support and so much love from Swedish people and I just I'm based here as an artist in Sweden you know yeah so I'm working here as well and I I feel like um, I'm feeling you know like more and more like home here and it would be an honor for me to represent Sweden because first of all I want to do that because that's why I'm here like the second time again and uh, I mean you know it would I think the song worth it and the staging worth it and we were really working hard on that we really you know like oof and um yeah, it would be amazing. It would be such an honor, a dream, and you know, to just show how Sweden good. And yeah. Uh, also, yeah, of course, everyone knows that I'm a Ukrainian, so I could show, in my perspective as well, I could show that you know this connection between these two countries. Mm-hmm. It's like because we all know that uh, Ukraine getting so much support from Sweden, 
I know, I personally know so much people here who's helping so much. Yeah. And uh, it, for me personally, I could show this also like connection between these two mm. countries and love. So it's, I think it would be historical moment. Yeah, it would be for sure. Um, but um, so we know that uh, you are uh, friends with some of the of the finalists uh, that you know that you've been uh, also last year, for example, with Marcos and Martinus, and also with Liamo. You know, you've been in the same semi final and stuff. Um, how do you feel about the competition this year? Um, who is your favorite, if you can tell us? And um, yeah, how is how do you get along with all of them? Oh my God! I mean. I feel like the Mellow has really friendly environment and atmosphere. I don't feel like it's, you know, like we yeah, are all comp yeah. yeah, of course it is competition and uh, yeah, but in general like so friendly and um I'm friend with Liam, you know, and also I really love guys Marcus Martinez, they're so sweet. We we are supporting each other. I love their song, they love my song. They're like they wrote to me like a couple of days ago and like I just met them before and I mean um um uh, who else was I I don't want to forget anyone. <laughs> no. Nope. This is a song that you listen to the most or you enjoy the most. Marcos Martinus. <laughs> yeah, Marcos Martinus. Yeah, I think it's a very good song. I really like it, and um, I also like Jacqueline's song. Yes, it's so you. I think yeah, I, yeah. I could I could see you uh, dancing and singing that yeah. also. Yeah, I like her song. I think it's a good song. Um, I mean, it's so much good songs. I mean, Sliama's song. It's daughter song. It's like uh, really big names. Then it's very big names. First, very. Amazing artist, very good songs. I don't know, it's so much good songs. Yeah. Like I'm um, literally very good songs. Mm. Yeah, and uh, oh my God, Medina, yes, Medina. party. I, I love them. I mean, they're such a nice guys. Such a always so positive, always so nice. Mm. And I mean, they're I don't know, they're amazing. I love them, like really. Mm. And uh, let's talk about um, your team um, because um, they wrote uh, so many Eurovision songs, especially last year's songs uh, for uh, Lorin, right? Uh, Jimmy Joker? No, oh, no, 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 Jimmy Joker. No, actually, no. Yes. Oh, no, yes, he did. Jimmy yes. Joker. Yeah. And uh, how do you feel about um, you know being like supported and that they? How was it? Like, they contacted you or you contacted them to write the song? No, I've been in the um, writing camp. Ah, okay. Yeah, and they were there, uh, uh, and uh, yeah, we just, you know, mm. here's the team for today, like, uh, and uh, we just matched up, and they, I feel like it was just, you know, this year I was feeling more, like, I know what I want to do, and the people also, the songwriters get to know me better, mm -hmm. or w what can I do, mm. so like, we, you know, mm. we had this point in our heads mm. and, uh, you know, like, I had references, I knew what I wanted to do, mm. kind of, and they felt it, they just, like, amazing songwriters, they just, you know, just, mm. um, yeah, 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 so, yeah, I'm very happy because, you know, in song, in writing camp, you every day, like, a couple of days, you every day switching the team mm. and writing the songs, but this song, like, just, you know, uh, straight to the heart. Mm. So yes, and uh, also like um, people are saying in the in the social media that um, your team is very similar to uh, a team from Eurovision that wrote a song uh, this year uh, from Austria, Kalin, uh, and also like your song it has the rave uh, word and the song from Kal from Kalin is uh, we will rave. Have you heard the song? Yeah, of course, I've heard the song. I've heard Do you like song. it? I've heard the song and I've seen the music video. Yes, I really liked it. I really liked it. I remember the song, even though I listened to this couple of times. But I remember the melody, the song. I think it's a very cool song. Mm. I think it's going to be fire on stage in Eurovision. And especially she's a dancer. Yes. It's going to be very fun. Yeah. So it's cool. So now I see like everyone else like, oh, Austria. Austria is going to be win this year. Mm. So I think it's a very amazing song. And mm. it's going to be, I, I think, cool on stage. Hopefully you win and you will meet her and you will do two races in the Ooh. in Malmo. Yeah, <laughs> that would be fun. Yes, especially for the songwriters. Yeah, Can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> and also you met another artist from Eurovision this year, Aliona Leona from Ukraine. Um, we saw you. She was uh, singing your song and you were singing her song. It was really cute. Um, what did she tell you? Uh, did she uh, is she supporting you and did she uh, tell you any advice for the national final because she won uh, with Vir so and you are participating in Swedish with Vir. 
Yeah, she's so she's so nice. She's so positive and like very like you know. Um, well, I mean, she is doing this so because Jerry Hale she tried a couple of times before, like twice I think. So mm-hmm. so I think she really like you know. She wants to. Go yeah, 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 and uh, this year they did it together. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, you know, she's just, uh, Alona, she was just so supportive to me, so happy for me. And, um, yeah, I was so happy that we met and, you know, did some content together. And, you know, she she was so nice to me. Uh, so I'm very grateful to them, to the Ukrainian team and to her that they are now posting about me and supporting so nice of them. Nice, great. So yeah, uh, she said like to me, well, let's go. It should be more Ukrainians at Eurovision. <laughs> Actually, we need uh, to show the Ukrainian, uh, you know, talent to the world. So yeah, thank you so much, uh, Maria, for uh, your time. Uh, it was very nice meeting you again and having a longer chat with you. And also um, check our TikTok because we will do like a dance together. And yes, uh, of her song. Um, yet we'll arrive. We should do it with Kaline also. We will call her. But yeah, thank you so much. And also, um, a final message you want to send to your followers and people are rooting for you because uh, you are um, you have so many people watching you, in the uh, like supporting you all over the world. Guys, I just want to tell you that I love you so much. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for all your nice, warm words to me, for showing support to when I'm gone, and to just. I really appreciate it. It means so much to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thanks for me, Jako you. And uh, before we leave, I have a present for you. Some sweets that you you really deserve them because after all this long uh, interview. And also I brought something from Spain because people... Uh, first time you came into Melo, people were like, Maria Sur, she needs to be from Spain, for sure. Because Maria is a Spanish name and Sur means South. So... Um, no, you don't look Spanish. Mm, not really, but uh, I don't know. Could be. So uh, this is a, a Spanish sweet. It's from Christmas. It's called Polvoron. So uh, you try them. You try it. It's uh, cinnamon. Um, okay. So maybe, yeah, after uh, you are done, uh, after your performance, you can have it. Uh, and you will tell me what you, you what you think. Yeah. And if you like it, it means that you maybe have some Spanish uh, oh blood. Yeah, some Spanish <laughs> genes. Yes. Okay, so next uh, national selection in Spain, in yes, Spain or Spanish, yes. Fest. You should. Uh, Let's you sh- go yes, slow mo. Yes, <laughs> oh my God, you could do the the Ukrainian slow mo. You should do like a uh, yeah. Oh my God, I can see you already doing that. Yeah, you are more than welcome well, to come yes, to yes, Vanilla so Fest. Uh, so much like in my blood now: Swedish, Ukrainian, Spanish. Yes. What What's next? What next? I don't know. <laughs> what, whatever you want, you can take over the world. We'll see. Yes. Thank you so much, guys. Thank Bye. You, uh,